very hard to see me right now, but I got I got an official statement to make. Lately on VRChat, and it's not just me, it's other uh, streamers as well as me. Um, <clears throat> are being targeted by people who are under the assumption that streamers are bad. Now, I can't get a straight answer from any of them because most of them basically are just doing it because they've been told to do it. You know how somebody like like sheep, basically sheep, who are following some leader or some person who's saying that streamers are bad. There's no real, like, reason behind it. And you ask them, and you get a few tired excuses. Uh, number one, um, streamers are killing VR chat. I've heard that one. Excuse me a minute. Streamers are killing VR chat. Without streamers, without YouTubers, and without um, actual advertising, which there isn't any, there isn't any advertising. Have you seen any advertising for VRChat anywhere, except for on YouTube and on Twitch? How is anyone going to know that the game exists if it wasn't for the streamers who stream it and the YouTubers who record it? People see people having fun on the game, and the first thing they do is they go, I want to have fun too. So they join the game, and they look for these people that they've seen online and seen in streams, so that they can get there and enjoy it live with those people. I am one of those people, and I've become one of those people through, may I add, a hell, a hell of a lot of work. It wasn't easy getting where I am. A lot of people think, a lot of people say, streamers have it easy. It's, a, it's an easy job. We're, 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 we're basically, we're recording a social app. So it's easy. No more easy than streaming, say, a game on uh, a Fortnite and other things. Word of mouth gets your stream around. And I will be the first to admit, I will be the first to admit that VR chat makes it slightly easier to gain an audience. Because primarily, you already have that audience. And the bigger you get on VR chat, the easier it is increase your streams, but not everybody who streams VRChat even has that chance. I put myself out there by being a genuinely nice person. I make friends with people. I don't see anybody who's on my stream as content. They are my friends. I even play on a Sunday without streaming, so that we can just be together and have fun. I do this because I enjoy the game. I also record and stream the air track because I believe that the game should get better and that more people should play it so that it becomes globally accepted. And the reason I want it to be globally accepted is because of its standard um, the standard thing that it's called, VR chat. It's a virtual reality experience, which could be, and I'm going to get to like why it isn't in a minute, and it's going to, it might blow your mind if you are in fact one of these so-called crashes. Sorry if you can't see my face very well, but you can still hear me. It's the light. Okay, so, the VR experience, of course, is um, something which I wholeheartedly stand behind. And that means that I want to be a VR streamer. And VR Chat is one of those many VR games that you could possibly stream on Twitch. I chose it because 
it can be anything that you want it to be. You can create anything you want to create, make worlds, and basically make your stream into what you want it to be. Because you can create the narrative that you want on your streams, which I thought was a absolutely fantastic standing block to create and to make entertainment for people and to be paid to do this. Now, I'm standing at the moment on quite a large follower count. I have quite a large sub count too, thanks to my friends. Thank you, all of you. All of you who have given money, all of you who have donated. Thank you. Now, this allows me to stay at home and work tirelessly to bring that entertainment to you. Without you, I would have to get a job and I wouldn't be able to bring all this content that you want me to because I have to work every day to bring that to you. Same as Lolathon, same as Cyberchimp, all of those people. If it wasn't for you guys who support us, we would never, ever, ever be able to bring that content to you because we would have to work full time and we wouldn't have the opportunity to do so. Now, our creativity is bashed every time we are stopped from entertaining people because that is our stock in trade. So, I come back now to the so-called crashes, the people who believe that streamers are killing the game. Well, would it blow your mind to know that by crashing streamers and making it evident that streamers are being crashed, right, sends a bad message to other people who want to play the game. And trust me, loads of my friends have said to me, I don't want to play VR chat anymore because I'm being constantly chucked out of rooms when I'm trying to have fun. What's the point in coming on the game when I'm not having fun? So what happens when every single person feels the same way and nobody comes online? What happens to VRChat if there's nobody playing the game? Eh? What happens when nobody knows about the game because nobody's streaming and nobody's doing it? There is no game. So essentially, what you're doing is you're not saving VRChat, you're destroying it. And it's happening now. At this very moment, VRChat and its weekend fucking parties that we were having, and having fun doing, by the way, during lockdown when thousands of people have died, rather than go out and social, social interact, we're doing it online, which is awesome. But that stops a, a lot of people dying, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. That's another subject, maybe for another day. What happens is that game will die, and then you cancerous pieces of shit that think you're saving the game will move to another game and destroy that too like some kind of fucking cancer because that's what cancer does it moves from one cell to another slowly destroying its own ecosystem slowly destroying its own life now the problem with cancer is the problem with cancer is it multiplies very quickly that's what this whole crasher thing is. It's one giant cancer. And you know what you do with cancer? Or should I just say, do you know what you do with bullies? People who think that they're in the right. People who think that they, they own the right to do whatever they want to do. You know what you do to those people? You don't run from them. You look at them head on. And you run at them. And you keep running at them. And you keep doing this until everyone on VR chat is doing it. You toxic, you make the water toxic for these people. That's what you do. Because you have to. Because we've only got two choices here, guys. We either completely ignore it and let VR chat die, or we attack them every time we see them. And I, I don't mean like one or two people. I mean, if somebody walks into a fucking world and they look like a crasher, the first thing that you should do 
is start being toxic towards them instantly anybody who looks like they're going to do it and i and i mean this wholeheartedly and i'm sorry for all those people that have a a um a client who is not being malicious but anyone who has a fucking client because all of you people you're just making the matter worse if you don't want to be targeted remove your clients and do it now because I can be absolutely 100% honest with you anybody who owns a client anybody who does anything to propagate this cancerous pollock on our wonderful game is going to be targeted because like I said this was an official announcement and that official announcement is I'm at war with every single one of you and I hope you're watching my videos because I am at war with you I have a very high IQ it took me exactly it took me exactly one year to learn everything about unity to learn blender to learn anything I want to learn in fact doesn't take me long all I need is the research and something to focus my energies on and it just so happens that you've become my focus now well done and you didn't want that you didn't want to become my focus you didn't want to become the one thing that I want to do this year or next year maybe even this time next year I'm going to have destroyed every single one of you I'm going to learn exactly what it takes to make a client I'm going to learn what, exactly what it takes to make an avatar that's malicious <clears throat> okay but not so not so malicious just protective yes protective like an armor like a suit of armor and what I want to do is I want to work out if there's a way to target or localize anybody who owns an, uh, one of these I want to know if it's a way of finding every single person that owns a modded client somehow I think there is I think they're all linked if I'm honest I think you have a Trojan on your computer I think when you downloaded and installed your modded client you inadvertently placed a back door on your computer that can be entered at any time by the person who created the the program the easiest way to stop these people is to find out what that back door is and then use it to your advantage I'm going to use that back door and I'm going to shut you down every single one of you I'm going to make sure that either you can't get on the internet or you can't play VR chat it's not going to take it's going to take about a year but systematically I am going to remove every single one of you from VR chat because you are cancer and that is what you do with cancer Thank you very much for listening. This has been an official war statement announcement to all of you crashers. I don't give a fuck that you keep stopping my game. In fact, quite frankly, the more you do it, the more fuel you give me to continue to do what I'm doing. Keep giving me that energy. Keep giving me that purpose, that reason to destroy every single one of you. Because, quite frankly, and this comes without any anger, this just comes with purpose, purposeful mindfulness. I'm coming.